he was, you know, two-time NBA champion and MVP, right? I think whenever or whoever team he is on, you have to consider that team is going to have a legitimate shot to compete for it all. You know, you still think that? Yes, mm -hmm. I think he's that good. Um, now, whether or not he gets to that level, you know, um, I do think you know you're starting to see. I think even. I think the league's changing in, in, from this perspective. It was always just like you have to have these three stars. If you don't have these three stars, you can't win. Right. I don't know if that's the case anymore. I think it's really the whole entire team because you've got to play 48 minutes, and what happens is the number of possessions, the pace, and the speed of the games. Like you could get in there, and you could have the second unit in there, and they can all of a sudden, it could be like a 10-0 run, and you could have a hard time recovering from that. So really I think it's about the totality of the team. And um, I think that with them being whole now, because last time we played them, uh, Booker did not play. The three of them on the floor together are like head and shoulders the best offense in the league, and that's probably what those guys going through it. So I would think that this group will continue to get better and be in a position to do that. The only reason I say that about Kevin is he is driven, really driven, and He's a student in the game. He puts the work in. He's very, very serious. There's no messing around with him. He's very, very locked in. Um, he's incredibly detail orientated. Um, he's going to be really good in terms of adjustments and schemes and preparation and being ready and helping the team and all those kind of things. So, the other thing I loved about him, the reason I say that is, is, and I don't think he gets enough credit for this. He he is not afraid in the moment. He is not like he he leans into that. I mean, he wants every bit of that. And I think that, you know, you look at some of the shots that he's made throughout his career in playoffs in big right. situations. You know, even if you look at him in Brooklyn, I mean, that three-point shot, he's a little bit back. That's a little bit different. You look at the knockdown shots he made. Like, he, he leans into those moments. Like, he really likes those moments. And I've always respected guys that are like that. They're not afraid of the moment. They lean into it and they want it. And, and, and he's one of those guys that wants it. Coach, I know you have